What's going on, Swaggers fam? And today we got some more, some, some more of, hello words, popcorn chips. They've been my rising favorite chip to go to as of late. Not sponsored, but just kind of been my favorite. So I said to try them all. Uh, today we're going to try out some white cheddar and maybe another one. Heck, there's, I don't know, maybe. So let's go white cheddar here. I got my water to cleanse the palate. Palette is cleansed. All right, so let's open these up. Now, white cheddar, not really making this a hot take, but it's not my favorite. Like, when I see anything that's snack-wise that's white cheddar, I tend to, like, avoid it. Or, like, if it's another option, I'll go for that. I don't know what it is about white cheddar. And I, I, I'm a big cheese guy. I like I like cheese. Like, I'm a, I'm a big... <clears throat> uh, like, cheese. its obviously, I mean, to that, because it's... Well, I'm not going to go into that topic. But anyways, let's try out the white cheddar... Uh, popcorn and chips. Showing off the nutrition facts, if you want to see it, I'm hoping it comes up in the camera. Because I can't see it from your end, so bear with me. Hope you can see that, but yeah. In case you wanted to know. So, having a few of these. <clears throat> now, I've noticed a lot of these chips can be light. Um, now, just kind of reminiscence of the white cheddar popcorn that you'd get from pretty anywhere. Less salty. Not as overbearing. It's there. <clears throat> so think of it like an airy white cheddar popcorn chip. And instead of it being the strength of like seven, it's more like a four on the flavor. So maybe if I get something, maybe if I see these and they're white cheddar, I don't mind them. Which is kind of my issue with a lot of chips or like snacks. They can be so salty, uh, like 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 a bag of Lay's or Santitas or Santinas or whatever the name of those chips are, the tortilla ones. Something like that. Those can be like really salty, like aftertaste, and I don't really like that. Um, but I like salt. Like I'm not being Mr. No Salt, none of this, none of that. Just I want salt to where like it's there, but not so salty to where when I put it in my mouth, it like pretty much just dehydrates. I don't know how to really word that, but yeah, these are pretty good. I'm like, I think it's just getting an 8.10 from me. I'm being honest with you. And coming from somebody who doesn't really care for white cheddar, these are really good. Hmm. I'm right, moving on. <clears throat> Which is the reason why I start with those first. You'll see why in two seconds. Boom! We have spicy queso. Spicy queso. Um... Always is a go-to in mine when it comes to spicy flavorings. Or just queso in general, I guess you could say. Now, they do have a jalapeno one. Um, that the jalapeno... Well, it's, it's not jalapeno, it's just jalapeno, I do believe. I should have grabbed the bag. That one is more of like a sweet jalapeno, I guess you could say. It's not really spicy or hot. I mean, the spice is there. But it's more of like a sour spice almost. Like it's limey, I guess you could almost say, but it's like a it's, it, it, it green it leans towards like a green jalapeno, like it's more sweet, like a sweet sour jalapeno. And I'm really liking it. So we're gonna try these spicy queso ones. Maybe it'll top the jalapeno ones because jalapeno's been my number one as of right now, or at least in the top three. Let's go in spicy queso. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Jalapeno, you, 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 you've got some competition, my guy. <clears throat> These might just be my top five. These are good. So 
So right off the bat, it the the, the queso, the seasoning kind of reminds me of like a taco seasoning uh, type flavor. Uh, they're really queso, but I guess it's, I guess the the queso vibe is there. The spice is there. It's not heavy. It's quite mild. If you're like me, you like know, that mild spice to where the reason why I don't like heavy spice or heavy sour is when I put something sour or spicy in my mouth, uh, I want to be able to taste the actual food I'm eating. Um, like, I'll give you an example. This is, this is this could be a hot take, and I'm probably going to get so many so much hate in the comments. But I'm not a fan of flaming hot che uh, Cheetos. The reason why I'm not, because I get more heat than I get actual cheese flavoring in general out of that. That might be a me thing, but I just really want to get into that. And so I don't really care for those so much. I'm more lean towards uh, Andy Caps or maybe even Chester's a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> not that I grab hot stuff a lot in general, but these for sure have a mild flavor to it. So if you want to put it like a 1 out of 10 in a spice, I want to say they're an easy 6.5. Um out of 10 in a spice, but I think out of flavoring, if you like taco, that spicy taco kind of like seasoning, flavoring to it. I think you're really gonna get, um, I think you're really gonna love these. These are gonna get an 8.5 out of 10 for me. I wish the cheese was more relevant. Maybe it's just me thing. Okay, I guess it's there. Once you, once you once you have a couple, it gets there. Yeah, it's not a heavy spice. It's not gonna not gonna burn your mouth. I forgot where I was going with that. I really forgot I was going. I really forgot where I was going to go with that. But yeah, it's it's not overbearing. It's just balanced, just right. You could probably have a couple handfuls of these. It'd be perfectly fine eat something else with it, whatever you're going to do. Um, so yeah, these are getting an 8.5 out of 10 for me. I gave the white cheddar an 8. I liked those a lot. Um, not as a top 5. Not as a type, a type huh? Top 5. Uh, but it's up there. I want to say out of 10, I want to go 7 on the top 10 scale. Uh, these are definitely top 5 for sure. So try these out. If you've ever had popcorn and chips in your life, which, which flavor is your favorite? Which one would you go for? Um, if you haven't, um, do me a favor and try them out. Any of the flavorings and come back to this video and let me know which ones you tried, which ones you bought, uh, what, what you rate them, how you feel about them, so on and so forth. Because I'm curious to let you know on your, on your side which one is your go-to, which one's your favorite. And uh, yeah, any more snacks or stuff like this that you want to see me try, as we just tried Tim Tams, and uh, those were really, really good. So go check out that video. And also get yourself some Dare to Wonder merch. Um, if I remember, I will put a link in the description. I don't think I did the description for this hoodie in the previous video that I uploaded. Um, so I'll probably have to do that pretty soon. But uh, yeah, be sure to go get your Dare to Wonder merch. Try out some popcorners. And uh, yeah, as always, make sure you like, subscribe to join the Circuits family, and keep it energized. Do what keeps you going, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!